गुड मॉर्निंग मिस्टर खिलन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम फ्रॉम योर बिजी शेड्यूल टू टू कम एट आर इवेंट नेक्स्ट जनरेशन पैकेट ट्रांसपोर्ट नेटवर्क इन गुड़गांव दिस मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट यू ऑन रोलिंग आउट ई वीडियो नेटवर्क इन इन ऑल द नाइन सर्कल्स ऑफ एम टी एस इंडिया सो वॉट वॉज द एक्सपीरियंस लाइक वॉट वॉज द चैलेंजेस दैट यू फेस्ड इन रोलिंग आउट ई वीडियो नेटवर्क सो यू नो ई वीडियो नेटवर्क वी हैव रोल्ड आउट सिंस टू थाउजेंड नाइन सो वॉट वी हैव डन नाउ इज दैट वी हैव मूव टू टेक्नोलॉजी कॉल्ड ई वीडियो रेप बी फेज टू ओके so this was uh, initiated by you know the recent auction in march mm-hmm. when uh, you know we got the third carrier we bought the third carrier which was allocated to us in the month of o- october and immediately after getting that we rolled out mm-hmm. uh, evdo uh, rep b phase 2 technology mm-hmm. through which uh, we will be able to provide a very superior broadband service to our consumers mm-hmm. our peak speeds will be able to reach up to a level of 9.5 mbps which will be you know like in today's uh, context in our country which will be like unheard unheard of 9.8 mbps and coupled with the uh, the band that we use the 800 megahertz band that we use which has a inherent advantage in terms of coverage and in building penetration Uh, as compared to the other other 3G operators which are on 2100 megahertz band we believe that you know with this technology video uh, rep b phase 2 using uh, you know 800 megahertz spectrum we would be able to provide the best uh, data service to the consumers in india so mm-hmm. from that sense we believe it is a you know revolution in the indian telecom uh, scenario okay where we are able to provide such a superior service to our consumer and if you remember you know so we launched this service in uh, rajist uh, in jaipur way back in september 2011 okay and you know at the same time we were uh, planning to ro- uh, to have a pl- pan india roll out uh, along with uh, jaipur you know so the, jaipur was a pilot okay so which we were supposed to follow up with a pan india roll out but you know as we all know in in 2012 there were some you know regulatory challenges you know and some you know legal challenges that we were facing so immediately after the auction when we bought the third carrier so the 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 most logical step was to roll out this technology which we piloted in jaipur and incidentally when we launched it in jaipur we were the first operator in the world to roll out this technology okay so we had a lot of faith and lot of you know uh, you know even emotional contact, uh, con- connect with this technology so immediately after you know getting out of these legal issues and you know getting the third carrier uh, for our pan india use we were the you know uh, we were in a hurry to provide this superior service to our consumer which we did it on 23rd o- october which when we launched and today you know all our uh, evdo uh, network which which was providing hsd service till now okay is capable of providing this evdo rep b phase 2 service mm-hmm. so peak speeds up to 9.8 megahertz coupled with you know as i said good coverage and very good in building penetration mm-hmm. so that's that's how we 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 you know went about rolling out this network right sir so mts is also planning to roll out 4g network in the in, in the in the near future so at what stage is the is the is the roll out uh, have you already conducted trials and what stage is the entire process right now so ma'am you know this you know the 4g that we are talking about is all about long term evolution the lte okay mm-hmm. which is a which is a evolu- evolution path for each and every network that is available today in 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 world you know so as as we all know till now there were two standards you know 3gpp and 3gpp2 you know mm-hmm. 3gpp was mainly for the gsm uh, you know kind of operator and 3gpp2 was you know the cdma operators like us right. but you know uh, first time in this you know whatever uh, 25 years of experience i have in telecom industry the industry is converging into one standard one technology one network which is lte long term evolution yeah. so from that sense you know we strongly believe that all the networks you know that are you know whether uh, mm-hmm. today on 2g or 3g or 2.5g or 3gpp or 3gpp2 everybody has to evolve into lte 
okay and the same thing you know we 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 we, we are following in all our international operations also mm -hmm. russia and you know other places also russia also we have launched incident plt already okay but you know the timing has to be very important like you already said you know so we are very closely watching the market so you know uh, till now as i as i already explained the uh, you know evdo rep b uh, phase 2 that we have already launched is a is a kind of a breakthrough technology for india so we feel that you know uh, for 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 next you know some time you know this technology is most suited for uh, the the customer needs and customer demands and the commercial viability of this service is also you know very important mm -hmm. so but you know having said that you know like all other operators we are also keeping a very close eye on how this lte you know ecosystem is evolving mm -hmm. because today the major challenge in lte is not about you know network or not about technology or not about you know the availability of standards and everything the major challenge is the ecosystem and you know as a country i think we understand it more than anybody else you know we are already conducting some trials you know mm -hmm. so these trials are already being conducted with various you know uh, oem manufacturers to you know give uh, you know comfort to our uh, you know business teams that what kind of technology this is what kind of service it can provide to the consumer so overall in nutshell you know that uh, you know we are uh, we feel that the technology that we are rolling out today in the market is the best suited for you know today need of the consumer but we are we as all other operators in the world not only in india keeping a very close eye on how lte ecosystem is developing mm -hmm. and as soon as we find that you know the the the, 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 the ecosystem is reached a stage where it can benefit the consumer mm -hmm. okay we will be you know uh, first to roll out this service also in india uh, mts is the only uh, pure play cdma player uh, in the country today with with lte coming in and as you mentioned that all the operators uh, would be moving to lte do, do you feel that all the challenges that you faced at a, as a pure play cdma player would be over and you would be part of the mainstream ecosystem what we are waiting for in lte is the ecosystem to develop okay mm -hmm. so the same problem today we are facing in cdma you know that mm -hmm. lack of the ecosystem especially in this country you know right. as a cdma you know uh, the ecosystem is not a problem you know because we all know that china telecom in china and you know mm -hmm. let's say verizon in us you mm -hmm. know so they are the market leaders with this technology and with this ecosystem but as far as our country is concerned you know the cdma ecosystem is you know uh, perhaps not as much developed or as much you know this thing so that we can compete you know in full steam with uh, you know the gsm players specifically on voice side on data side we are quite confident and we are quite you know comfortable with the mm -hmm. ecosystem especially on dongle side we believe that you know the product proposition that we have you know mm -hmm. with uh, evdo rep b phase 2 technology where you know the cdma uh, you know has a has a inherent advantage because mm -hmm. you know unlike uh, 3g you know mm -hmm. where uh, the the spectrum or the uh, the rf resources are shared between voice and data so right. we have a evdo technology which is like mm -hmm. evolution data optimized so mm -hmm. this technology very much is optimized for data okay so uh, and dedicated for data so there is a there is a clear distinction between how much spectrum you use for data and how much spectrum you use for voice mm -hmm. so we are able to provide very good you know uh, as a as a pure play cdma player we are able to provide very good uh, cdma uh, the data service